Zachary, you're on. Oh, oh, oh yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Hi, and welcome back to another video of Poster School. Sometimes old posters can be really, really cool. This poster is from 1969, and it was printed to advertise travel to Detroit. Linen backing makes your posters last longer and look better. Ready for framing. Uh, I mean, I never visited Detroit, and this car looks like really, really old. Like from like, when cars were first invented yeah. by like Ford, because actually, fun fact, Ford still works in Detroit and Ford still makes cars in De Detroit and they're like the only working car factory there. The colors in this poster are psychedelic. And now my father will linen back this poster. We're going to linen back this poster to keep it in good condition, to preserve it. I'm making the acid-free paper covered with wheat paste. Wheat paste is the stuff we use to stick the paper to the canvas and also stick the poster to the paper. I have to make sure the paper is stretched out and very wet before we mount the poster to it. And then I have to roll out the paper to make sure that there is no air pockets between the paper and the canvas. There's tape on the back of this poster, and I have to remove it before I back it, including all the sticky residue. Ugh. Yes, I see that it fits, so now it's going to get glue. That's glue I'm putting on it, acid-free, wheat paste, and PVA. I have to spread out the glue very evenly, or else it won't stick well. And as it absorbs the wheat paste, it gets wider, it expands, and I have to make it really wet and stretch it out more with the roller because it's getting bigger and bigger. And now I'm flipping the poster upside down, a wet poster, mind you, and now I'm pushing out the air pockets with my hand. Let's see, I need a roller. I'm rolling the poster out to get rid of all those air pockets and all the excess glue. And now I'm going to wash it off with a couple of sponges. I got to get the excess wheat paste off. This is a glossy poster and I leave any wheat paste on it, it'll make ugly streaks later. Nice and clean. That's the ticket. This poster makes me want to visit sunny Detroit on my next vacation. And there you have it, the poster is linen back. We've got to let it dry for a few days before we cut it down. I think I'll move it into the hall so that it can dry well out here in the fresh air. Now it's time to cut it down. Chop, chop, chop. There. And I'm going to give it some even borders so that it looks really nice when we send it back to the customer. I usually leave about one inch because one inch is about what they want at the framer so the framer can decide how big the border should really be. This way they don't have to damage the poster itself. And as you can see, linen backing makes the poster stronger and easy to manipulate. There you have it, another job well done by Poster Fix. Visit Detroit by United Airlines. Take it away, Zachary. This brings us to the end of another episode of Poster School. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. Bye.